Hello and welcome everyone to this video on configuring OData Entity Safe by Zarentech. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Zarentech YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. So hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can configure OData Entity Sets. Now see, feeling the need to expose your data to the world of external ap applications. So how we can expose our data to the world of external applications. So, well, look no further than OData Entity Sets. This powerful features lets you unlock your SAP data for seamless integration. So, this powerful features of our OData lets us to unlock our SAP data for seamless integration to front-end applications which are built mainly on UI5 or Fiori. So, in this particular video, we will dip into configuring OData entity sets in SAP ABAP. That is, I will tell you how we can configure, how we can create our OData entity sets in SAP ABAP. And we will break down the key steps from understanding the concept to building your own service. So, get ready for it. So, before directly going to creation step, I would like to show you what is the meaning of entity set? So see, we have a concept of entity type in SAP Web OData. So this entity type is nothing but a collection of fields which consist of data type and its length. And it is similar to a structure in normal ABAP. And you will be using this entity type to hold the collection of records. And you, if you remember, we have a concept of internal table in our ABAP programming where we can store n number of records at the runtime. So using the concept of entity set, you can also record large amount of data in normal ABAP at the runtime. And it is that is why it is similar to internal table in our normal ABAP programming. Now we are going to see how we can create entity sets. So there is mainly two way to create any entity set. So for that purpose, I am going to use this particular table. So I will simply copy it. Now go to SEGW transaction code and click on create button to create a OData project. OData project. OData project. Just give a name to your OData project entity set. O data project for entity set. Click on OK button. See, we have got our four folders. The first way is using the checkbox option. So you will click on this button and right click on it. Go to import and go to DDIC structure. Give a name for your entity type. And as you already know, entity type is nothing but a structure which consists of fields along with their data type and length. Now give the name of this structure here. We will give the name of our table. See, this is the most important button for our entity sets. This is a checkbox. So if we'll give this checkbox, your entity set will be created by default. So the first way we will use is without using this checkbox and we will click on the next button. Here we will select our fields which we want from our structure, from our table. So suppose I want employee ID, name, department and manager. Click on next button. Select the primary key and click on finish button. Now see, Now see, we will be getting our entity type here. Then we have to create our entity set. So for that purpose, right click on this icon, click on create button. And here you will provide your entity set name, which you want. So suppose I am giving employee set, give the name of entity type, which we have already created here. So I am providing this then entity type here, then click on OK button. You can see here our employee set entity set has been created. So 
so this is the first way how we can create any entity set now we will see how we can create our entity set by using the entity types and we will use that checkbox button which we have shown earlier so simply delete this entity type click on and delete what click ok then delete this entity set we have deleted now again click on the data model go to import ddic structure given name for our entity type uh, and select the web structure and see just don't forget to enable this checkbox button always enable this checkbox button so that the default entity set can be created and here it will simply add a set in this particular name which you have given here so click on next button uh, select all the fields that you want here click on next select the primary key and click on finish button simply go to entity set and you can see our entity set has been created so these are the mainly two ways where we can create our entity set using our entity type either we can directly select the checkbox button it will defaultly create your entity set or you can use it later for creating the entity set so what are entity sets it is an option to hold the collection of records at the runtime where we can store multiple records and we use the concept of entity types in our entity sets so this is all about our entities configuring entity sets thank you very much